Hi and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. My name is Hitesh and you can access details about me on hiteshshadri.com, can visit learn from Hitesh section and also you can visit the contact section and can leave your very very valuable feedback. Your feedback actually keeps motivating me to create these courses and can upgrade my quality as well. So just waiting for your uh, mails and I would personally recommend reply to each and every email that is being delivered by you to me. So let us uh, keep go to our SQ, keep going to our virtual machine and try to understand what we have for you in this video. So in this video, you can simply say that we have got a simple file for you as well that says lesson9.zip file and this is just about just waiting for you to unzip it. So first of all, let us try to move this file uh, that would be, oops, first of all, I have to travel into my root directory where this file is being kept and then I can simply move it to uh, lesson9.zip to some a very familiar directory that is slash war slash www slash master and I want to travel there as well so let me type slash war www and master and if I do a quick ls here you'll find that your lesson 9.zip file is out here so first of all as always we will unzip the file and again if you need that file you can simply drop me an email or wherever the third party platform wherever you have purchased my course you can simply access the supporting course material uh, you will definitely find this file out there but if somehow the file is missing you can simply drop me an email at my email id that is hitesh at the rate hiteshchaudhary.com so let us unzip the file content of lesson 9.zip here it is. Now here I want to do some things extra. Like if I do a ls, the lesson 9 zip file is here, but if I do a ll that is long list, you'll find that lesson 9 is actually being permitted for the root it is rwx that it read, write and execute. For others, uh, for group, this is read and execute. For others, it is read and execute as well. So no full permission is assigned to write or anything like that. But since this is an exercise for dumping out the file, that means we have to assign some explicit permission to this directory. And in real world, if you're trying to do all the same things, this is really, really a bad practice and invitation for all the hackers to apply this kind of SQL injection and lots of and other lots of attacks. So don't do that in the real world. But since this is a practice lab exercise, you can do whatever you need to do with this. Uh, of course, uh, I am not actually worried about the legal I'm worried about the legal aspects, just uh, stick to the lab whatever I'm doing. So no need to be just <laughs> take granted my words for it. Okay, so how to change the permission? You can use the command chmod, that is change mod. And I will assign 777, a very ridiculous permission if you are assigning into the uh, real life world. And I want to assign it to lesson number nine. Again, if I do a LL, you will find that the permission is being changed to read, write and execute. That's a very simple command that you can execute to change the permission if you are not familiar to the Linux world. So uh, what you can do now, you can check out first of all is all the things are running like service, service Apache to start let me check just the status in case I have started it already so we can save a couple of movements for us yes it is already running so no need to type my SQL commands whenever I run I run both of them at the same time Firefox let me start that now what you can do you can simply type out localhost and I want to go into the lesson number nine now this is the lesson nine waiting for you to hack into and simply in order to get into this file, what you can do, you can simply put a question mark, id equals to one. Once you do that, you will find you are in use out file command from the last video. I hope you are quite familiar from the last video in that we have discussed everything in the details, how to inject and everything onto the MySQL command prompt and learn every command. Now, first of all, we will learn how to inject in this page. And of course, there will be some work for you as well in this video. So if I do a single quote, you have an SQL, S, SQL syntax error. If I do a double quote, 
then it's not an error. If I do a backslash, then also if an error. So although it is not depicting, I can find that single quote is having an error. That means I have to fix it also. Hyphen hyphen plus may fix it. It doesn't fix it. That means it's not working actually. So what I need to do, let's put a bracket also. Again, it's not fixing. So I could have also assigned you this as an assignment, you can say to uh, break this query and join this query, but I'll be showing you that as well. I have something else for you in the assignment. This fix it. So this also happens. So keep uh, watching all these videos. You are definitely going to learn a lot of things. So what you can do again, now how to find out what are the number of columns and all these things. If you do a order by one here, okay, it gives the same page. Order by, let's say a very big digit, you have an SQL syntax error. That means I can simply put order by two. Okay, it is. What happened if I put a order by four? You have an SQL error. What happened if I put a order by three? So I hope you have guessed right what do I have to write in place of union all select. I hope you are quite aware about this kind of in injection right now. Union all select and I have to put one, two and three. Yes, of course I could have put a four here, uh, just the digit. And again, if you want an output, you can simply check whether you are getting a direct output or by this output. Uh, but no need to worry about in this case since the error is not actually depicting out just in place of here. So what you can do, you have to dump all the output out there into some file. Now after that, how to proceed, how uh, you can simply write your query which you out there in this place. Uh, this is the place where you can write whatever you require. And you can also write at the end uh, into dump file. And again, make sure whenever you give the path of that file, you don't give any path. You have to give a very specific path because you have assigned uh, all the permission for a one particular directory and that is slash war slash www slash master and slash lesson. Make sure it's case sensitive, less hyphen nine. And in that you name out any file, like uh, you can simply put hitesh.txt. And I hope you remember all the things from the last video that you cannot uh, append any file. You can also, uh, every time you need a new thing, you'd have to a new file and all these things like that we have discussed in the last video. So I expect that with you and I leave everything else as an exercise for you. So that's a pretty easy one. and. Uh, please drop me a feedback at hitesh at the rate hitesh Keep enjoying the security stuff and thank you so much for watching.